Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and today I'm gonna be sharing how I created these simple candle sconces. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so for the first sconces, I'm gonna be using these little windows I got from Target a long time ago, and then this piece of wood that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Um, if you don't have these windows, you can pick something similar. I'm pretty sure you can find them and use the, the same wood as well. So now I'm just marking where I'm gonna need to cut that piece of wood on my miter saw to fit like that size of the LED candle. So now I'm just gonna simply take this to the miter saw and cut off what I don't need. And then I'm gonna do that same thing for the second one, marking where I need to cut and cutting it out on my miter saw. So after I cut out all my wood pieces, the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the screws and the little acrylic um, piece in the back. And then I am just going to be taking my E6000 and I am going to glue those wood pieces to the front where the candles will be held. So after everything was nice and glued and nice and dried, the next step is to paint this. So I'm just spray painting. So the first one, I'm just spray painting black. So my first two, they're just gonna be spray painted black. So they'll be a pair. And then the third one I did, I just decided to use this London gray color. I just think it's a really nice um, neutral toned color. And so I just spray painted that one. Um, and this one's gonna hold like a tapered candle. And so now I'm just using one of the little tapered candle holders and I'm spray painting them because it was black. So the next thing I did was I actually didn't put the um, sawtooth back at the top. I just put um, command strips because I'm just gonna put it on my wall real quick. And I didn't also put the acrylic sheet back that was on there. But if you like that look and you have these same things, you can keep them. But anyways, this is how they turned out. They're super cute. Um, it's a nice little pair. They're black. You can do whatever color you want. Um, just add you some fake LED candles on there. If you want real candles, then you most definitely wanna put a sawtooth hanger on the back of these. But I love how they turned out. They're super simple and super cute. And this is how the other one turned out. So you can use this as table decor, you can hang it up as well, um, and you can do two, three, and just put your taper candles on there and just add the little holders. All right, moving on to the second pair of sconces that I did. So these are very easy too. So this wood that I got, I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to stain it this golden oak color, one of my favorite stains. So I was gonna do this with the um, garden uh, little hangers, things or whatever, but that didn't turn out the way that I wanted to. So I'm just doing this a completely different way and it's super simple and it's still really cute. All right, so after I stain the longer pieces of wood, I am just using some of this um, scrap pieces of wood that I had from the previous DIY, and I'm just marking where I need to cut those, cut it on my miter saw, and stain them. And this is gonna be like our base part to where our taper candles are gonna be held. So to make sure that they were gonna be in the same space, I just literally took one piece, marked it, and then I glued where I marked on both of the pieces of wood. those were nice and dry I just came and I cut off the excess that I didn't need and I simply just did that on my miter saw you can do this before or after it doesn't matter did mine after and it was perfectly fine And voila, here we go, some more um, candle sconces. I love how these turned out, super easy to recreate. Again, those taper little candle holders, I got them on Amazon, I'll link them down below. They're super inexpensive, and I just love how this looks. And I put these up with command strips as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!